welcome back to part two of our running Groover tutorial. We're going to finish setting up the pose for Groover at frame 24. Working on his legs now, and then we will move on to his arms. After this, we will set one more pose at frame 36. And you'll see how easily just setting four keyframe poses uh, can create one cycle. Uh, for a run cycle. Some of you may ask, when uh, I advance, like I will here in just a moment, to frame 36, why I say hit the record button. It's kind of hard to explain, and I hope I don't lose anyone here, but our latest manipulations on each subgroup, as is, is at frame 24. When we advance to frame 36, even though uh, we wish to be on frame 36. If we do not press record first, once we move down into the hierarchy, we will revert back to frame 24. By pressing record, we keep this from happening, and therefore we don't have any surprises, uh, and we don't have to constantly keep updating the number in the frame counter. All right, we're putting the final touches to Groover here at frame 36 getting everything lined up just so. And hope you can see how quickly and easily this can be done. It even kind of surprises me. <laughs> All right. That's it. Let's expand the window a little bit so we can See just the perspective view. Let's play back our animation and see what we've got. Not too bad. But we have more to do. Groover running in place is fine and dandy, but uh, it still lacks something, don't you think? So what we're going to do now is, using the side view as our gauge, we're going to toggle back and forth using the advance to next keyframe and uh, rewind to previous keyframe. And we're going to judge off of his left foot and try to move Groover on frame 12 to where his toe points to the same place on the grid. We'll basically do the same thing again for frames between frames 12 and 24. This time on frame 24, we're having to kind of guess. In frame 12, Groover's right foot is off the ground, so we have to guesstimate as to where his foot will come down and be on uh, when he uh, gets to frame 24. Almost there. That should do it. We can toggle back and forth as often as we need in order to make sure we're going to get proper placement. Now we do the same thing on frame 36. This time we will key off of the toe of Groover's right foot and make sure that its location on the on the grid is the same. There we go. Let's rewind this and let's see what we've got. Not too bad for a few minutes work. <laughs> 